dear friends welcome to today's session so in today's session we will be um, looking at the different types of operators through a particular program so we have discussed this in our uh, previous video uh, that the different types of operators which are there in java we will just be taking one one example from each of them and just uh, looking at it from the program point of view okay so for that i have declared here a class which is by the name of operators then the main method starts which is public static void main string argument is okay so this is this uh, the spelling of this is uh, different as args however in my previous video i mentioned that we can use any name for this particular array if we feel like okay so let us keep it this way only and see if the, it is throwing me any error okay so now integer a is equal to 5 i have declared three different variables a b and c of the type of the data type integer okay so a is equal to 5 b is equal to 2 and c is equal to 10 so these are basically the different types of us this is basically an assignment operator as we have already learned that we have uh, equal to then we have greater than or equal to then we have less than or equal to so all those operators here are basically your assignment operators okay so what we will do is we will simply assigning the value of 5 into a through the assignment operator equal to okay and then followed by let us see the first operator i mean first uh, statement here where i am using an u a unary operator plus plus a now this is a prefix operator which is incrementing the value of a before it is printed so if i'm writing plus plus a essentially it means that a is equal to a plus one and after that it is getting printed okay since we are writing plus plus before it will be giving me the value of five plus one which is six and it will stores the value of six into a okay so suppose i if you want to see this okay so we can do this as well we can do this as well so let us run the program first of all i'll compile java operators and it is throwing me no error see as i already mentioned despite of writing a different name to this particular argument uh, array uh, it is not throwing me any error now if i am trying to print this okay so when i'm trying to print uh, print the value of a it is giving me six which means that plus plus a essentially will increase the value of a by one and storing it okay so this is the uh, observation which we have got next is uh, an arithmetic operator so here i have mentioned two different statements for arithmetic operators so these are two just uh, just two different arithmetic operators here one is plus and the other is divided by or division so a plus b essentially now the value of a is six okay since in this particular statement i have already incremented the value of a by one so a's value is six and b's value is two so it should give me it should give me eight as the answer so let us check first what it gives and then we will be proceeding with the next operator so once i compile this and then i run this it is giving me a the value of a to be 8 a plus b not value of a uh, the value of this particular operation is 8 8 because the value of a is already incremented by 1 which is 6 and b's value is 2 so it is giving me 8 okay it is just like normal arithmetic operation and the next one is a divided by b so a divided by b so now a's value is already 6 
so 6 divided by b is 2 so uh, b which is 2 is equal to 3 2 3s are 6 so it is giving me the value as of the quotient as 3 okay so this is how your arithmetic operator works again now we will check the other type of operator which is the logical and operator so this is purely the concept of your logic gates which we have already done in our uh, digital circuits okay so a um, the statement which I have printed here is a is less than B and a is less than C now logical and gives the result as if there are two conditions okay if there are two conditions so this is one condition and this is another condition so if either of the condition is false the resultant will be false okay so let us check this condition first a is less than b which is a is equal to 5 and b is equal to 2 now 5 is not equal to 2 that means it is false okay so answer will be false now once i get the first condition as false it will not check the second condition okay a is less than c will not be checked it will simply return me with a false so let us see the answer what we get here so java c yes java operators so we are getting as false okay so because the first condition in the very beginning is false hence the second condition here is not checked at all now going ahead with the next possible uh, statement which is our next possible operator which is bitwise and now bitwise and has the property similar to that of logical and operation however in bitwise and it will check for both the conditions that means if we are using a similar condition which is a is less than b uh, which is now a's value is 6 so 6 is less than 2 is it possible 6 is less than 2 please consider the uh, value of a as 6 in the previous uh, logical and example also okay so if a's value is 6 6 is not less than 2 but this bitwise and will not give you the output immediately without checking for the next condition also okay which is a is less than c so a is less than c is true okay however since one of the condition is false so it will give us false but essentially you have to be uh, uh, very careful when we are basically doing this okay so suppose uh, let us save this first and see what is the output which is getting generated so it is giving me false because the first condition is false now what i'll do is i'll simply introduce 20 here okay s now when i'm giving 20 here so what is it uh, doing a is less than b okay so this condition is true again a is also less than c so this should give me a true so let us see the program see so it is giving me true okay the first value is also giving me true because this is true for this particular condition all right so this way we can we will be able to uh, make the necessary changes whenever we feel like okay or using the different types of operators so we checked logical and sorry logical and we have also checked bitwise operator now it is uh, the relational and ter ternary operator now these relational operators are the comparison or equality based operators so this is a comparison operator which we are using here also we have used a comparison operator which is less than okay here also we are using a comparison operator which is less than and other compa uh, comparison operators or relational operators could be greater than less than equal to greater than equal to instance of not equal to all those could be your um, this thing um, 
relational operators okay now talking about ternary operators as i have already mentioned in my previous video that it is just a, a statement which is trying to implement the same logic as that of the if then else statement okay so when you are taking ternary operators into consideration we are primarily focused with this question mark and with this colon and we have a condition here if this condition is true then a will be printed otherwise the second statement will be printed okay which is c right so this is the condition and if this condition is true then a will be printed otherwise else c will be printed so this is just like a uh, if then else statement okay so and after that the value of this particular statement or this particular operation is actually stored in small and we are printing small in the next line so what is this condition this condition is checking that if a is less than c so a is 5 and c is 10 so yes a is less than c okay that is why 5 will be 5 will be stored in small okay a will be stored in small sorry in this case 6 will be stored in small because we have already incremented it using the unary operator so it will check if 6 is less than c that is 10 so 6 is less than 10 yes and that is why since it is a true condition the value of a will be stored in small what is the value of a a's value is 6 so 6 will be stored in small and after that when we are printing small we should get the value as 6 okay so now if i check this program in my command prompt so let us first compile this and after that when i run this i will get this value as 6 so this is how the various operators work in through this program we just saw one one example of each of these operators however we can still go ahead and experiment with all the operators which are available in java it will give us very very interesting results so please try this in your own so that is all for this session thank you